If you've been avoiding it for months because for some reason you are in denial and you don't want to listen to this musical, I'm here for you. Of course I think you ought to listen to this musical, but since I'm nice, I'll wait for it and I'll help you out. Here's a complete character guide for those of you puny people who won't listen to it yet. I'm sure eventually you'll be convinced. The musical itself is called Hamilton, so you have to assume there's a dude called Hamilton in it somewhere. So here we go. Alexander Hamilton, the main character, life owner, and first treasury secretary of the United States of America. And member of the first act's squad, which you will hear me mention at least four more times. And for the rest, we will just listen to Alexander Hamilton because it is easier this way. How does a bastard, orphan, son of a whore and a Scotsman, dropped in the middle of a forgotten spot in the Caribbean by providence of impoverished and squama, grow up to be a hero and a scholar? Yep, that wasn't that hard, was it? Aaron Burr, narrator of the story, the bad guy, and the relatable cinnamon roll. He's the pride graduate of Princeton College and pretty cool. Also a member of the squad. And for the rest of this, we'll just listen to Wait For It or Aaron Burr, sir. Because it is easier this way. Death doesn't discriminate between the sinners and the saints. It takes and it takes and it takes and we can live in any way. We rise and we fall and we break and we make our mistakes. And if there's a reason I'm still alive when everyone who loves me has died, I'm willing to wait. Okay, okay. He's the mom friend in this musical and actually kind of creepy and desperate in the second act. He's not that bad of a guy, just... Uh, life does weird things to some people. John Lawrence, Cinnamon Roll, Soul Crusher, a member of The Squad, Slavery Abolitionist, and Serious Cutie Pie with Hamilton. He dies in the first act, so don't make fun of him. We will torture you. Lucky de Lafayette. Once a lot of the revolutionary set, he came from a farge to say bonsoir to the king. Yay! The awesome kick butt French dude who was in love with the American idea to rebel against the powerful government. Also full time cinnamon roll and member of the squad. Hercules Mulligan, who needs no introduction. An Irish tailor's apprentice who does not have enough lines. He spied on the British government, took their measurements, information, and then he smuggled it to his brothers, the Revolutionary Covenant. He was running with the Sons of Liberty, and he was loving it. And the squad. Moreover, in real life, he saved Washington's life multiple times and was just generally pretty cool. Delica. Skyler. Smart britches. Kick butt. Like, basically the most feministic, amazing sister heroine character in any musical ever. Sisters before misters. She's the one in pink. Liza! Skyler. The second of the three Skyler sisters. The real hero of our story. She fell in love with Alexander Hamilton and they got married three weeks after they met. The real name of this musical should be, and I quote, Eliza deserved better than Hamilton. She also funded the first private orphanage in New York City, and Peggy Schuyler, the youngest of the three Schuyler sisters, who disappears abruptly after the first act. Oh well, she wore yellow and was pretty kick butt herself. George Washington, first president of the United States of America, great military leader, and the dad boss figure in this musical. When he goes away, things get a little crazy, people start having parties, two parties to be exact, Republican and Democrat. George the third known as angry fat and cross he was insane and rather hilarious in this musical like a bad boyfriend with overly clingy issues the adversary in the first act Samuel Seabury and he represents free thoughts on the proceedings of the Continental Congress and that's about it Osley a pig and a coward who should not have been promoted Theodosia the older Burr's wife, mother of Theodosia the second. Now we're moving on to people more prominent in the second act. Thomas Jefferson! A fast rapping founding father who is actually a pretty wonky dude. He's kind of the bad guy in the second act. He also invented mac and cheese. I suppose there is good in everyone. He was also in love with France. James Madison! James Madison, who doesn't sing all that much. He's sick. Not like 
sick sick, but like physically hat cough sick. A man of poor health and one of Jefferson's cronies. On Adams, second president of the United States of America. Kind of not that cool. He was alright. I'd throw him in with the Jefferson's cronies pile over there. Yeah, that's where he belongs. Rye Reynolds. <gasps> A girl who done made Alexander Hamilton mess up. Eh. Eh. Poor baby. Mr. James Reynolds. The money-loving, abusive husband of Mariah Reynolds, who needs to be punched in the gut really hard. Philip Hamilton. Alexander and Eliza Hamilton's son, who is a complete and total cinnamon roll with honey on top or something. He's like so sweet. And unfortunately, we don't talk about Philip Hamilton. We sing Take a Break and then we're gonna leave Philip Hamilton alone, okay? Just don't talk about Philip Hamilton unless you want to be really hurt real bad because there are some serious emotions going on with this character. Theodosia Burr. Theodosia and Aaron's daughter, who was a well-educated lady. Unfortunately, she's not mentioned all that much in this musical. George Eager, a complete and total idiot who deserves to, like, die tragically of consumption. Who actually did end up doing that. That's it for the major characters. There are a few more, like the Doctor, who has a few lines. Not the Doctor, but Philip's Doctor. <laughs> Maybe a few other characters that might have just slipped my mind. At the end of it all, everyone is broken and sobbing on the floor, and you need to be too. I mean, who do you think you are having not listened to this musical yet? Well, I hope that was at least somewhat helpful. Let me know how you would describe these characters down in the comments below, and press that subscribe button, because when we get to 100, we're doing a giveaway of some pretty awesome stuff. And also a reminder to check out the Hamilton Cast Project, see video here, or... Here, see video here. So, ta-ta, Max! Listen.